wonderful middle school students. My name is Paige Wilson and I'm a math teacher at Cleveland STEM High School. A few weeks ago, we had a video about looking at things from multiple perspectives. Today, I'd like us to revisit that same idea and also consider your own cultural and personal values. You might be thinking, well, what exactly is a value? And I like to think of values as characteristics that I try to have in order to be a good person. For example, one of my personal values is to have compassion. So if someone is feeling a little sad or a little down, I like to do what I can to help cheer them up. Um, an example that comes to mind is a few weeks ago, I was on a video chat with some of my girlfriends from high school. And um, one, one of my friends, Elena, she started complaining about her mom. Um, and, and I guess, you know, she just needed to vent to us. So once Elena started venting, then Kelly chimed in and started venting about her mom. And I got this ping in my side um, because Carrie, our other friend who was on the video chat, she sadly lost her mom a few years ago to cancer. And so I just got this feeling feeling like, man, I should really change the subject because I, I, I don't want Carrie to feel um, you know awkward or sad. So in that moment, I, um, I jumped in and I, I changed the subject to something totally different. And then we continued on with that new topic. So, um, you know, and we're all human. I don't think my friends meant any harm um, or, you know, we're trying to be mean or anything like that. It's just, you know, we all can start talking about random things and we're not always um, aware of who we might be affecting. So today I really wanted to, to focus on honoring your personal and cultural values while looking at other perspectives. And there are a few things that I have, um, you know, suggestions that maybe you can try this week. So the first one is um, to identify what your personal values are or reflect on your own cultural values. Um, maybe have a conversation with, with a relative about um, your cultural values. Maybe go on Google and just look up a list of values and lists will actually pop up and you can maybe pick, you know, three or four values that really um, resonate or really um, make you excited. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, think about how your own values show up in your conversations. Um, how are you being respectful of yourself, so honoring those values, while being respectful of um, other people's um, opinions and their own values. Okay, that's the beauty of this all. We all have different viewpoints, different experiences. Uh, we may have different values from each other, but where can we see the intersection of these coming together um, and how can we connect and share them with others? Uh, the last one is to, um, if you are more of an extroverted person, I challenge you this week to try to be more introverted and to kind of step back and let other people, um, you know, talk. Uh, I personally am an introvert, so I'm someone who is uh, kind of likes to be in the background. I don't really like to talk a lot, um, but my challenge to introverts is to try to speak up a little more. Um, honor your values, okay, have conversations with people about you know your beliefs, and really take up that airspace because everyone's voice matters. So those are just some ideas I have for you this week, thinking about um, different perspectives and how do we honor our own cultural and personal values when communicating with each other. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you continue to be safe. I hope you're doing well. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.